Welcome back to GameCocksOnline.com. I'm joined by head volleyball coach Tom Mendoza as the Gamecocks wrap up the season in about as well of a way as you could hope, taking down number eight Tennessee in straight sets. Coach, you had to play very clean to have a chance against a team like Tennessee, and you did that and more. Talk about your uh, first impressions coming off the court. Uh, you know, it went, it went well, but it, it went kind of how we told the team uh, it could go, which is if we, like I said, if we take uh, care of our side, we thought we could score. We thought we were going to have a tough time uh, scoring points on surf, stopping them from siding out, uh, which for the first two sets was very much the case. You know, both teams were just siding out at a very high rate. Uh, and, and so we were just able to kind of match them through. And uh, that's something we felt like if we serve received and swung aggressively, we could, we could find ways to score. Uh, and that's how it played out. They just, our players just did a phenomenal job uh, of executing it and, and uh, staying aggressive. And, and uh, I thought, especially in the third set, Tennessee started serving more aggressively. And, and I thought our, our serve received did a good job of handling that. So, uh, yeah, incredibly happy for them, proud of them. Um, you know, to, you know, we hadn't gotten a top 25 win on our court yet or a top 10 win on our court yet this year. It's something we've done uh, each of the other years. And so, you know, last opportunity to do it, and, and we took advantage of it. So very, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a good group. Uh, I've enjoyed coaching them all year, so I'm thrilled for them to, to uh, end the year on home uh, with a top 10 win. A lot of really great performances to talk about. I feel like every starter was nearing double digits and hitting well over 300, if not 400. But we'll start with Alina Johnson. Career day with her, 16 kills, hitting, I think she finished at 500. Pretty absurd numbers for a left side. What was she able to do so well against a really physical Tennessee block? Yeah, I thought she was fearless with her swings. You know, and, and just, uh, again, uh, we, we covered, you know, our, our cover... Uh, off of their blocks was good, and so that allowed our hitters to go be aggressive and go and go challenge. And we, this, we said, as soon as we slow down, they're going to win. And you have to stay aggressive. You have to keep going. And 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 so I think Elena was one of the many, like you said, was one of the many people that was uh, showcasing that. And so uh, you know, it's, it's easier to you know, easy to say, hard to do. And she was out there doing it. And and uh, you know, credit her for that. And again, a player that we feel. Uh, has incredible potential for us, and and so for her, hopefully this propels her uh, into the off season and coming into next year, her junior year, uh, to to take the, those other steps. If she can do it against Tennessee, then she can do it against anybody. Yeah, it's it seemed pretty convenient for the team hitting November rash of injuries uh, to kind of just not take this one seriously, but to come in and have by far the best game of the year in the last game of the season. What does that tell you about the team in your locker room? Well, First of all, very very impressive with the leadership. You know, captains Riley and Kuhn. Uh, I think they've and uh, you know they've done a great job keeping the team. You know, like we said, it hasn't always gone the way we want. We've lost a lot of close matches. Five, you know, five setters, two sets. Um, and like you said, we, have, we also have more injuries now than we can keep track of. It, it almost it almost made it easier. It wasn't like we were missing one person. We were missing. You know, we had so many people that were were out. It, you kind of weren't. You had to just think about what we had available and and figure it out. And I thought we did a great job. Uh, as a group of, of, of handling that and just going and playing. You know, there's no excuses. There's just, let, let's go, whatever we have available, let's go play hard. Uh, and and uh, that's a great identity and, and uh, for a program to have and hopefully we can learn from. And uh, because yeah, it's, it's something we hopefully take pride in. Hopefully we don't have this many injuries all at one time. Uh, but you know, like you said, it's, it's we, we, I think we said this uh, two, two matches ago, it was, it's not who's playing, it's how we're playing. And I thought, you know, that's the most important thing, and, and we played, the, you know, how we played today was, was uh, you know, earning of a win, and, and again, it's a good lesson for them. I'm very proud of them for handling it that way.